So today we're going to be taking a look at reducing the size of an image without reducing the quality. So for this task, I have decided to use this library called ImageMin. And uh, by default, ImageMin doesn't have support for different image formats. So I've decided to bring in JPEG and PNG. So ImageMin runs asynchronously. So you have to wrap it in an instantly instantiated function. And then you run this function here, ImageMin. And then you pass in an array. And that array contains the directories where we should take the file from so the images so we're going to be taking images from this original dash images which is this folder here and grab png and jpeg the destination so that's where we are going to put all of the optimized pictures we're going to put that in this folder here now by default image min doesn't have support for specific formats like jpeg or png so essentially that's what we're adding here. So we are so you can go ahead on npm and find these different packages. I will leave a link down below with like a search parameter where I've already searched for it and you can then pick the format that you want, install the package and then import it like these plugins down here. These plugins some of them also do have options, so you can pass that in as well. So you pass them in as an object here and set some different parameters on how it should act with PNGs or JPEGs or whatever format you are inputting. Then we're just showing this done message saying that we optimized X images. So let's try to run this. And you see it goes relatively fast. And now if we look in our optimized folder, you can see that we have the same images as we had in our original folder. So let's take a look at this one here. And let's take a look at this one here. So you can see that visually there's not really a big difference. And let's take a look at one of the JPEGs. So you can see again, Visually, there's not that much of a difference. But if we take a look at the file sizes, you can see that, let's look at this one here. So you can see the file size down here. And you can see that that is 121. And let's take a look at the file size here, and it is 122. And you might think, uh, well, I mean, didn't that increase the size? So one thing you have to know about like resizing the quality of images, if the image is already optimized, what it will do is that it will, won't really reduce the size, it might actually increase the size, but that's just because that is, it can't really take the quality any lower without distorting the image. So I don't know specifically how image min works, but essentially that's what's happening. But let's take a look at an image which could use some optimization. So we are in the original images folder and you can see that this one here, it's a really big image. So if we go ahead and take a look at this here, you can see that this it has actually been reduced, but these images, they didn't really need any more reducing. Now it's not that you can't lower the quality, but you will be able to see it. And with this library here, you are not really able to see the changes, but you're just reducing the sizes. Now I do want to say that if you don't want to set up your own backend library for running this, they do provide an API and I've linked that down below. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.